Today in our 2009 Nissan Versa, we'll be installing the Kurt 1 quarter inch receiver tube hitch part number C113483. This is what our hitch will look like once installed. Next we're going to give you a couple measurements to assist your selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 5 inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 10 and a quarter inches. Now we'll go ahead with the installation. To begin our install, we'll first go ahead and point out the attachment points. We'll have a total of three attachment points, and the two on the driver's side will be utilizing pre-drilled holes in the frame by the manufacturer. The one on the passenger will be utilizing the manufacturer's tow hook. The side of the frame has an undercoating on it to help protect it from rust. However, we'll need to remove this undercoating to make sure it doesn't get in the way of the hitch and our hitch attachment points. Just using a scraper, we'll go ahead and remove the undercoating as necessary. We'll then go ahead, move to the bottom of the frame. Here we'll need to drill a hole large enough that we can get our baser block and carriage bolt into the frame. Using the smaller hole here as a pilot hole, we'll go ahead and use our hole saw to cut out a larger hole. We can then go ahead and take our half inch bolt leader provided with our install kit, feed it through the forward attachment point, and then out the access hole we just drilled. Then we'll take our bolt leader and slide on our spacer block followed by the carriage bolt. We'll feed the spacer block into the frame and then our carriage bolt and pull them into position. Once we have them into position coming out the frame, we can then go ahead and take the half inch flat washer, slide it up the bolt leader and onto our carriage bolt. This flat washer will get sandwiched between the hitch and the frame. Now we'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the rear attachment point here on the driver's side. We'll slide on the block, thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed them both into the frame and pull them into position. Then we'll go ahead and slide a half inch flat washer onto the bolt leader and up to our carriage bolt. Now we're ready to install the hitch. As we bring the hitch up to the frame, we'll feed the bolt leaders through the attachment points of the hitch. We'll bring the hitch tight to the frame and pull the bolt leader and carriage bolt all the way out of the frame and through the hitch. Then we'll remove the bolt leader and use our half inch flange nut to secure each carriage bolt. Next, we'll move over to the passenger side. Taking the half inch carriage bolt and large spacer block, we'll go down through the tow hook. Then we'll install the smaller spacer block and sandwich it between the hitch and the tow hook. Securing the bottom of the carriage bolt with a half inch flange nut. Now with all our hardware in place finger tight, we'll go ahead and run it down. Next, we'll torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. We're now ready to hit the road. That does it for the install of the Kurt Hitch part number C113483 on our 2009 Nissan Versa.